Hello everyone and welcome to the second episode of this series. Uh, my name is Jose and uh, I just have very little plan for this episode. It's um, When it comes to PC flipping, it's not always just as simple as building a PC and selling it. Um, especially if you want like peace of mind, you have to benchmark and stress test your PC. So I'll just be showcasing that aspect of PC flipping. Um, and then I'll just pass on the video to Cameron and he'll show you what he has planned. So let's get into it. All right, so I have the PC set up. I just installed Windows on it, um, Windows 10 Pro. Um, so just plugged it into Ethernet because when installing Windows 10 or any Windows, I do not like to leave any uh, internet connection simply because it's just gonna make you do a bunch of things like Microsoft logging in with Microsoft. And um, that's more for the buyer to do. So, so now we're just gonna go check for updates and let this PC do all of its updates. After that, I will be installing the proper drivers and uh, chipset drivers because this is an AMD system. Um, the specs, may as well get it out of the way now. It's a Ryzen 5 2600, 16 gigs of RAM, and an RX 480 8 gig. Uh, might seem like a odd pairing, but fairly sure it's gonna do pretty well. So I'll get all those drivers installed properly and um, get ready for a three mark time spy. And then four games, which are uh, Fortnite, Marvel Rivals, Call of Duty Black Ops 6, and Cyberpunk 2077. So that's what we got planned for this PC and pretty much all the other PCs that I will be benchmarking. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, so I just got finished up with this 3D Mark Time Spy. Uh, as you can see, the score is 4,262. And um, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and do the four games now. So let's get into that. All right, so the benchmark just stopped. It was uh, 47 FPS average. Obviously, this could have been higher if I lowered the settings a bit more, but I mean, it's all right. Still very playable. Yeah, so let's move on to the next benchmark, which will be Marvel Rivals. All right, so I'm in a game of Marvel Rivals. Uh, here are the settings. I have it at Epic uh, TSR for the super resolution. Performance, medium, so the screen tearing is not as bad. Frame generation on with the AMD, and uh, it's pretty much set at low. So I mean, you can see the FPS right now, 109, 105. It does the job, it'll let you play the game. It's nothing too crazy. Yeah, so I mean, it does pretty good. It does its job. Of course, it's gonna be priced accordingly. But I mean, yeah, you get an idea of the FPS that we're dealing with here. Um, so I think it's safe to move on to the next game, which will be either Call of Duty Black Ops 6 or Fortnite. I'm not entirely sure yet. So yeah, let's get into that. All right, so I'm in a game of Black Ops 6. I did have to change my monitor. The smaller one was acting up a bit. So here it is, uh, still 1080p. And the settings I chose, I put it on balance made sure that the render resolution was at 1920 by 1080 enabled AMD FSR 3 or not just ena not enabled but that's the upscaler that I'm using and I just enabled frame generation so everything else is just whatever the balance preset set and I have it at a 120 FOV and uh, yeah I mean it plays the game pretty well 100 FPS I'm not the best at um, any shooter game honestly um, but I mean it is very playable you can see that our GPU is maxed out and the CPU still has some leg room basically but I mean I guess it's it's, it's doing it's doing what it needs to do it's over over 60 FPS it's a relatively smooth experience and, um, and in terms of visual quality it's not the worst I've seen um, but of course this PC will be priced according to the performance it outputs so now let's just move on to the final game, which will be Fortnite. Alright, so I just got in a game of Fortnite. Um, settings, I capped it at 165, just because uh, it helps with stuttering. Uh, we're on performance mode. View distance is at epic. It's 100% 3 resolution and everything else is just off or low. There's not many settings to go over in performance mode. Um, you can see a bit of a dip as we're falling through the sky, but I mean, it's still playable. It's not. It's not stuttering right now. You can see the utilization of the GPU and CPU. They are fluctuating a bit. Temperatures are fine, honestly. 
especially for the CPU. Temperatures are really good for the CPU. Let's see if we can encounter someone. That way, you'll be able to see a more realistic FPS. And uh, something to note is this FPS counter is just for the averages. I'm not doing any 1% lows or 0.1% lows. That could change in the future if I decide to create a new overlay, because that is something I, I want to do. Um, but I'm gonna go see if I can find anyone who's in the middle of a fight so that I can just interrupt them and die, honestly. You can see that the frames did fall a bit when I accelerated. Somewhere. It's probably a bot, honestly. Because I played like a bot myself. No, barely. Uh. Yep, I'm cooked. But I mean, yeah, you were definitely able to see the FPS. It can also run pretty well on DirectX 12, given the right settings. Uh, you gotta sacrifice the uh, 3D resolution, but other than that, it's pretty good. Um, so that's pretty much it that I have planned for today. Uh, I will be just passing on the video to Cameron now, and uh, he'll be showing you what he has planned, and we'll go on from there. Hey, what is up, guys? Uh, for my part of the video, I will be taking over for Jose for a little bit, and I'm going to start off by cleaning out and re-thermal pasting this GeForce GTX 1060. It is a 6 gigabyte, and uh, I will be showing you guys what I have planned for this thing in a little bit. But yeah, let's get started. I feel like this has been I feel like this has been re-thermal pasted already and whoever did it like put a bunch of thermal paste on it I don't know this is like the most I've ever seen and it's super dusty too yeah this is gross so yeah basically what I have planned for this build is uh, like the last video what we made with the the 580 in the i5-9400F. I was just going to do uh, the same exact build just with a different uh, graphics card. We're going to be using this graphics card today and uh, we're actually going to be battling those two PCs together, the 580 and the 1060, but we will get more into that obviously in the actual video that we will be covering because in this part of the video I will only be building this PC. Alright, now that it is done, uh, it looks a lot cleaner, it's still a little bit of thermal paste everywhere. Yeah, otherwise, it looks pretty good, and uh, I'm sure the temps will be pretty nice with the new thermal paste, so looking forward to building this thing and seeing how it does. Alright, so just as a reminder, uh, this is the, the specs that we're going to be putting into the build. We have an i5-9400F under this CPU cooler here. Uh, this is a 2x8 gigabyte kit of uh, Corsair Dominator Platinums clocked at 2400 megahertz, and then uh, obviously we're gonna have 500 gigabytes of uh, memory or storage. I mean, on a on an SSD, and then uh, the case is a Dark Flash C27P. It is a like a typical fish tank style case and the fans are going to be three Corsair fans 120 millimeter ones and good news I was actually able to figure out what was wrong with the previous uh, like fan hub that I used in the last video if you guys recall it didn't end up working and I had to use another one um, but I retried the like the original setup I had and it turns out I just have to boot up a uh, Corsair IQ and then uh, just like configure the RGB for it in the app and it worked. And then we're also going to be using the EVGA 500BA. We got two of these, so I used the last one 
in the last build and it's kind of cool that I could use this one in this build as well because literally every part in these two builds are the same except for the graphics card so it's like it's it leaves a nice foundation for being able to compare the two graphics cards together and uh, see how they do considering they're using the like the exact same other specs so yeah let's get this thing started I just seriously just got shocked from this thing like it legit made my finger twitch All right, so most of the PC is done. I just have to plug all the wires in and everything. And then once I do that, I will be showing you guys that it boots, hopefully. <laughs> and then obviously uh, that'll probably be it for me on this video because in a future video, I will be battling this computer versus the one I built previously just to see which GPU is better uh, with the current specs. So yeah, hope you guys look forward to that and I will see you guys after. Alright guys, so we managed to finish the computer. It is fully done and I am going to be powering it on right now. Okay, so the lights work. That's pretty good. Looks like it's going to post. And it does. Nice. So that is another successful build. Um, I won't be doing too much further to it in this video because I'm going to do more like of an extensive benchmarking and testing in a later video when I'm battling it up against that PC there which is the one that I built in the last video with the 588 gig. So yeah, I have Windows and everything installed on it already because I kind of had the motherboard out and everything like as a little te test bench here. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much ready to go and you'll be able to see how it does in the next video. I'm going to pass this back to Jose and we'll see what he has in store for us. All right, now that Cameron is done with his part of the video, it's my job to do the intro. All right, now that Cameron is done with what he wanted to show you all, it's my job to do the outro. So I just want to say a quick thank you for getting to this point. Um, I know it must have not been easy. It was a bit of an anticlimactic video, but we are working towards getting better with all of this. Um, so please, please bear with us. We do have something a little bit interesting planned for a future video. Um, we will be just comparing the PCs that are made from the minimum specs for the game Marvel Rivals. We're going to be putting them head to head to see which does better. And we will hopefully be doing that together in person. So we hope you all look forward to that. And uh, once again, thank you for watching this video.